Okay, and today what I have is a starry sky projector, but not just any, probably the coolest one you're ever going to see. I specifically requested this. It was sent to me to review for you, but that's because I really enjoy this one. It's very, very cool. Way better than the ones that you typically see. But without any further delay, let's open it up, take a look at it, and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And here it is, every bit of it. Now you can see you get a remote control, you get a USB power cord, and it is about that long, we'll say four feet. You get a user manual, and you get a base. And if you notice, this base looks like a chunk of the moon, and there's two little footprints in there. Footprints, feet prints. But this is what is super cool about this starry projector. It is an astronaut. And his head is held on with magnets so you can turn it any way that you want him to look. How cool is this little dude right here? This thing is amazing. I just love it. It's actually a starry projector that you can put in a kid's room and it actually has character and can even match the theme of a room. I mean, all of them are usually just like these little round bases that's either black or white and they do the star projector thing, which is super cool. But to have one that's actually themed like this, that you can make his little head look around. He's a cool little astronaut and he's got a nice base. I mean, I'm not complaining. I like this little dude. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead his power cord plugs right into the back right here, just like so. And I'm gonna grab a battery pack. We're gonna power him up. You can plug him into a computer or any USB port. If you have a power block, you can plug it in that as well. It'll power him right up. But on the backpack, keep it together. But on the backpack, you have some controls right here and this is where you can turn it off and on manually. And see here, I'm gonna turn him on. Well, that's a pretty cool pattern. Stars, you can turn the stars in different modes. I don't know if you can see them on the wall behind me. Very cool. We're gonna go through all these different modes. I wanna show you what you get on the ceiling from this guy. So, cause I will point the camera up there and show you exactly what you're gonna get. We're gonna get the remote going first though. It does require two AAA batteries and I don't see them in there. So we'll get some. All right, now we have remote control. Pretty cool. It's got a bunch of different modes, but I think the best way to explain all the different modes and different things that he can do is to just go ahead and we're gonna have him look at the ceiling. We're gonna put the camera up on the ceiling. I'm gonna turn some lights off and I'm gonna show you all the different modes that this little dude can do. I mean, just tons of character. I love this thing. All right, so you can see we got our nebula going on the roof. We got some stars going. We're gonna go ahead and switch modes of the nebula. Let's see what this does. Oh, there's a different one. That's a blue green. Oh, cool, I like that one. But you, I'm just hitting the nebula button on the remote and you can pick which nebula you want. Now you can increase the brightness, that's brightest. And you can dim it down as much as you want to. And then you have the stars. You can see the stars are getting dimmer. Now they're pulsing. So you can adjust how bright and how dim the stars get. You can adjust the pulse rate, how fast you want them to like pulse or not. You can have them always on. You can have them always off. And the way you turn them off is you just hold the star button down and you can turn them off just like that. So now you see there's no stars at all. If you don't like the, the green laser light, you can turn that off. And then you just hit the star button again and bring it back. You can set a timer. You hit the timer button once, it's gonna be a 45 minute timer. If you hit the button twice, it's gonna be a 90 minute timer. And of course you can turn it off and on with the remote as well. But just a really cool night light for a child. You can use this in a daycare environment. If you have a bunch of kids, it'll get, you know, they'll look at the ceiling while they're taking their nap and it will relax them and take their minds off their fears, help them go to sleep. If you're having parties, it would be great for that. I mean, to me, it kind of looks like the old MTV logo. I guess maybe that's why I like it but just a really cool little nebula light in the form of an astronaut. There's also a starship. Let me uh, turn some lights back on. But what a cool little dude he is. He's got all the features that you need. And I mean, look at this. I know I'm kind of carrying on a little bit about it, but this is the, I've, I've done so many 
nebula lights and they all look the same and to have one that a kid's going to look at and actually enjoy is just really cool to me i mean i'm going to actually keep this one in my office in future videos you'll probably see them back up on that shelf just based off his form very cool little device it's got all the different nebulas different colors great for parties great for a night light in your little one's room you can use it in daycares just all around cool little light i hope this video helps and thanks for watching